Hi, I'm Julian Lennon. I'm a photographer. I'll just stick with photographer. I Facebook every day. That's my way of communicating with the audience. Always keeping in touch. Well, I guess I've, I've sort of fell in love with music as a kid in school. One piano lesson uh, with an old lady who, when I hit the wrong note, slapped my hand with the ruler. So I learned how to play rock and roll songs, the music machine treadmill with something else, you know. The lot, Secret Value of Daydreaming, Mr. Jordan, Oh, Help Yourself, Photograph Smile, and now everything changes. It's been out of pure love doing this. Here's this musician with all of this sensitivity toward music in a whole different context. My head in the sand. Me shooting Julian in front of the World Trade Center from 1987. Me and Julian in front of the album yeah. cover we shot together of him. Awesome. And the gang over here on Tower Records in Sunset. Uh, yeah, We've been collaborators from the beginning. You two pictures. Lucky boy I was. I was at a house in the south of France, working and writing. The YouTube boys said, listen, we're really looking for a place to set up our gear and, you know, work on the next album. And I thought, you know, it was just going to be like one, one or two of the guys, you know, either Bono and Edge in, in a car. Uh, lo and behold, 20 cars come up and basically I'd get a call every day going, uh, do you know how to work the air conditioning? And then Edge pulled me aside and said, Jules, you." Uh, you, you, do you want to take some pictures? I said, I'd love to, you know. The first real shot that became the one that gave me goosebumps was where, with Bono, when he was leaning forward like this and there was a picture of Dad in the background from Hamburg, that, uh, 1960, God, I don't know. And I just remember after shooting, just I just sat on the floor, you know, and just... And then I just saw the angle and saw him and Dad in the background. And it all just clicked. And then I just started, I, 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 you know, it was, each time I do this, I've got, not got a clue what I'm doing, but something clicks. I love the work that I've done with them. They were totally relaxed and let down their guard because they're with someone who understands them and is their friend and everything else. I mean, this picture to me, like, it says it all. You can tell it's real, you know, and that's because they allowed him into that, that moment, into that inner circle. Yeah. As a kid, you know, I think we all had cameras to a certain degree, you know. I, I've always taken pictures, always liked angles, light, uh, architecture, landscapes. Uh, uh, but, the, but it really sort of took off when I was working with Timothy White. When Julian and I met uh, 29 years ago, um, I shot his second and his third album. Um, we got to be friendly, we did a lot of other work together, magazine work, things like that, and just stayed friends over the years. A few years ago, I was in New York and we did a photo session. After the session, I sent him all these JPEGs of the photo shoot so he can look at them. And he sent them back to me and they were all like photoshopped and, and had this effect. And I was said, I didn't know you knew Photoshop or, or knew photography. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, because we hadn't seen each other for a while. So he was like, yeah, I've been taking pictures and I'm really into it and I like playing with them. And we're doing promo shots, you know, editing or looking through pictures. And Timothy said, you know, you should do something with those. And I said, yeah. He said, no. He said, you should do something. You should do an exhibition. You know, I knew that Julian throughout his whole life, um, has been compared to his dad. And I know that's something that I think, or at least in my mind, left him feeling like it wasn't his own. It couldn't solely be his own without being attached to his last name. And I saw the enthusiasm for the photography and I realized that, that it was something that, that was his alone or could be his alone. And so I saw that what I felt was real, that he was really embracing it. So we started going through his imagery and I started in, you know, being really encouraging and said, you know, we should put this together, we can do an exhibition, we can do a book. And the more I worked on it with him, the more he liked it and the more we started to put together a body of work. We went through 6,000 plus photos, eventually come down to what became the first exhibition, which was Timeless, which was uh, a mixture between the U2 photos that I'd done and landscape. I'd never forget the day. I was in Long Island. It was a weekend, and you called me. It was like a Sunday morning. It was really early. And you called me, and you had just 
done some of this work. Right. And you were so excited oh, yeah. about it. You, you said something to me that about like, being the proud papa. Well, I'm not the proud papa, but because that's not our relationship. But that moment, I'll never forget how how excited he was. It made yeah. me feel like so good, so happy for him yeah. that he had achieved this moment. I actually got to um, surprise my brother Sean while he was on tour. There's one bunk space left, so I went on tour, surprised him. Uh, I was part of the crew, literally. Uh, and I, I started taking pictures on the road, and this was probably one of the first pictures that we decided for Timeless because of the image. Um, gave me that impression that this is a road that just keeps on going and uh, that we're all on. Timeless was shown for the first time in New York, 2010, September. I'd had sort of panic attacks for three days in a row because I thought, what are the critics going to do to me this time? And I just thought that, um, you know, nobody would come. Uh, and then I arrive and almost have a heart attack. I mean, people ran the block. I could not believe it. I was just truly blown away. And the reviews that came out of that surprised me more than anything. But it was the landscape stuff, the painterly stuff that they went bonkers for, and I was like absolutely blown away. You know, that was probably one of the happiest days of my life, to be honest. We put together a great show, and um, it was really, really successful. And so, in a way, I, mean, you know, I don't know if I really want to use the term, but in a way I've just been mentoring Julian and helping him along with his career. I feel much more of a, as a visual artist rather than a photographer per se. But I will challenge myself all the way on this, you know, to do the best I can, whatever comes up. I think if you have the opportunity, it's just to do it and embrace it and do it with all your heart. And in that respect, you can, you, 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 you succeed, I think, in, in life. Success is different for everybody, but I mean, for me, it's just having the work that I do respected. You know. So it was very special. <laughs>